Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you a really cool bug I found a while back, and uh, someone actually messed with it and made it even better, because you know, being able to do things with one block was an OP already. Before I start this video, of course, make sure you subscribe because, you know, it's pretty cool. You can always unsubscribe if you want, I mean, I would prefer you don't, but who cares. And other than that, let's get into the video. So I made this cool little sand duper a while ago, it's got 6,000 views on my channel, biggest one, and uh, this guy by the name of Eagle Eye decided hey, let's make it work with anvils and dragon eggs. I don't know how he figured this out, but it works with anvils and dragon eggs. But if we walk through here, you will see we have that happened. I don't know what just happened there, but I mean, two blocks inside each other. It's almost like I've shown that off before. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So, so all you have to do for this one to work is build up nine blocks. And uh, it's, it's almost like uh, it's easy. And, and reliable as well. Hold on a minute. <laughs> hey, I forgot to mention, your anvils can break while you do this. It's very, very, very rare, but it can happen. Oh, oh no, what a surprise. I fell in the void, who could have seen this coming? Oh no. So yeah, all you do is build up a nine blocks, place a fence under an end portal, and, and that's it. It's, it's really easy. But Zoom, I hear you ask, didn't you already make a video on this? No, I did not. This is this is different. This is totally different. Anvils and sand are two completely different things. With all the same mechanics, but for some reason, sand's just stupid. There really isn't much to discuss in this video because, you know, it's, it's a pretty basic build. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and automate this and see what happens. Now there is something called bedrock removing, and it's pretty magical, but I'm not gonna show it off in this video. It takes too long to set up. It really doesn't. I'm just lazy. So I just went ahead and dropped a few gazillion. Just kidding, I dropped three anvils to the portal and they all landed here. My goal is to be able to launch them over to where another end portal is. Now if you happen to have an end portal really really close to spawn this might be the best thing ever. If you don't then you're gonna have to probably set up some chunk loading ma magic that I don't know how to do. I dropped two anvils through and uh oh they did land perfect. Now the goal is to be able to launch them which actually is really easy. All right so I got this little system set up let's see how it works. Oh my gosh! Almost a perfect hit. I'm gonna go ahead and slot the end portal there now. Obviously this th that isn't necessarily survival friendly, but shut up, I didn't ask you. Just kidding. Actually, there is some ways to make this survival friendly, but yet again, I don't have to loop it around and everything, because that would just take forever. I'm just gonna take the fast route, and maybe I'll make this on Prototech when I'm bored. Got to work, so I hooked up a little machine here. I drop the anvils from here. It'll work every single time. It seems that timing doesn't matter if you have it set up like this. It doesn't seem that the timing matters as long as you drop it right here and, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna hit the roof and that's gonna slow it down just in. What is happening? Okay, so maybe the timing matters a little bit. All right, so after about four or so dupe runs, I have the official amount of anvils, which is, uh... All right, we have 13 undamaged anvils, about 100 chipped anvils, about 150, 170 or so uh, damaged anvils. And this was from right clicking over a single end portal, which is crazy. Again, this is still feasible in survival, kinda. You just have to mess with it a bit to get some timings and everything like that. But other than that, you could actually do this in a survival world. I'm thinking on building this up in Prototech for the sole purpose of lots of anvils. That'll be it for this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. It took quite a while to make because there is a lot of content I had to fill with just random fillers, such as this machine. But this machine made it really cool, and I really liked that. And this is totally doable in survival. I'm just not going to go ahead and open up the world and everything like that because that would take a lot of time. And also, I'd have to time the gravity block stuff all at a certain moment, and it's just not worth it at this point. 